Hey guys, the boy here from Tennis House. In today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you four amazing tips on how to improve your low volley. Going again. So the low volley is one of the things in recreational tennis, especially in beginner tennis, that I see that players mess up a lot. So it's important to do it right. So stay with me in this video and you will learn how. All right, guys, here's tip number one. You need a continental grip. If you hold a forehand grip, you will struggle with the low volleys. There's no way you can do them right. So continental grip, arm is in front of you. The racket is below the eye level, so you can see, pull the racket to you, because if you don't pull it to you, now if you do this, you have a strong wrist. If you don't do it, you have a weak wrist. So left hand pulls the racket to you. Now what I like to tell my players is, on the forehand side, you pull the racket to you, you keep the arms out and the knuckles point down. Left hand stays on. On the back end, knuckles point up. So that's the motion you do on that low volley. Very important, guys. One extra tip on this drill. A lot of players, when they come in, they pull those arms in. You never pull the arms in. You keep the arms always in front of you. That's why I like this drill. All right, tip number two, guys. As I mentioned, we're going to work on the low volley. And here we have this beautiful hacky sack. Great tool to work on the low volley. And I'll show you now why. So as we said in tip number one, the arms are out. You can look over the racket. You pull the racket to you, so you have a strong wrist. And now, on the forehand side, knuckles point down. And then, why this drill is great, because the hacky sack stays on the strings if you do it right. And then the low volley is a low, short motion outwards. So my student is gonna catch it and hit it back. Good, here we go. Knuckles down, and a little short motion up. Very important on that low volley. It's nothing crazy. Like when you hit that low volley, it's not a swing. That's to the back and side, knuckles up. Here we go. Knuckles up, as I said in the first tip, and the racket is in front of you. So it's a short, as you see, the short motion to hit that ball over. And if you do it with the motion, ball, then that's how the low volleys work. Here we go. Good. See, it's a short motion, and then you can go from hacky sack to tennis ball. Tip number three, guys. I have Andrew holding a pole here. As we said in tip number one and two, on the low volley, it's a short motion upwards. And to visualize that, you have a pole. Andrew holds it in a good degree for me right here. And what's important now is the left hand, when you volley, you try to keep it with you, like here, because you need stability on the volley. A lot of players take the left hand off and they lose control over the shot. So the left hand stays on until your forward motion starts. You see that? The racket hard on the pole and it's a short motion upwards. So now you actually see what's happening. And then now I can have the racket on there and you go up and you stay on there and you go up. So you get a feel now for the motion on that low volley. This is very good. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. So this is really good to work on the low volleys because you have to stay low and you follow the path of the pole and that's the right angle for you to hold and to hit that ball over. All right, guys, tip number four. Oh, I have the number four on the cone. That was not planned. All right, guys, so what you can do to work on the low volley. And I know it's not in the sweet spot of the racket, but it's a super great tool for beginner players and like and intermediate players. You, you put that uh, cone in the heart of the racket. And now, if you don't have the right angle of the racket face, if you hold it like this and the ball goes low, it's, you're not going to be able to catch it. So on the low ball, you go and try to keep it in. As you see, I caught it in the cone. So the player is going to learn to keep the right racket head angle and that's super easy to learn you keep the right racket head angle and you have the cone in it's a fantastic drill some might say oh but that's not the sweet spot as i said but it doesn't matter because you need to learn how to hold a racket and later on it's easy to transfer into the string bat here and then hit the ball in the sweet spot so all the four tips i just showed you they're very important if you practice those 
for sure your low valley is going to get better and i hope you enjoyed the video if so please take a moment to subscribe turn the notification bell on and share the video with some friends thank you guys for watching have a beautiful day